In this lesson, we'll discuss the answer to three questions based on fatty acid synthesis. Let's begin with question number one. The question reads, malonyl ACP is required for the elongation of fatty acid chains. For the first part, we have to complete the following equation for the formation of malonyl ACP from the starting material. Notice that these equations are incomplete and we have to finish off their products. Just a little background, before fatty acid synthesis can begin or lipogenesis, Activated carrier molecules like malonyl ACP must be synthesized. The synthesis of this three carbon malonyl ACP requires the synthesis of first malonyl coenzyme A, and this is produced when acetyl CoA combines with bicarbonate. Take a look at the equation on your screen. In addition, there's the hydrolysis of ATP, which provides the energy for the reaction to take place. So, to complete this first part, acetyl CoA combines with bicarbonate ions plus ATP to form malonyl coenzyme A plus ADP plus one phosphate ion plus one hydrogen ion. Next, I want you to take a look at what ACP looks like. ACP means acyl carrier protein. So it's a protein that's dedicated to carrying acyl groups for the formation of a fatty acid. So it's a long molecule, and this one in particular has an amino acid at the very end, namely cysteine, and we can tell it's cysteine because of the sulfur atom at the end. So we have cysteine over here, we have pantothenic acid here, and then the protein. In the next part of this reaction, malonyl coenzyme A undergoes a reaction with this acyl carrier protein. Obviously, this is done through an enzyme, and we'll discuss what these enzymes are in part B of this question. And this ends up producing malonyl ACP, where the coenzyme A is replaced from the malonyl coenzyme A, and it forms a bond with the sulfur end of the ACP molecule. So let me write that down. We end up producing malonyl ACP plus HS coenzyme A. Notice that the coenzyme A is no longer forming a bond with the malonyl coenzyme A molecule and it is now attached to this part of the ACP molecule. Now we need to discuss what catalyzes these reactions. So there are two carrier molecules. One of them wasn't discussed in this question, but it happens to be acetyl ACP, which is formed when acetyl-CoA and the acyl carrier protein forms a bond with it. That reaction is shown on the screen and is catalyzed by acetyl-coenzyme transacylase. And this one that we just discussed, which is catalyzed by the enzyme malonyl coenzyme A transacylase. Those are the answers to question number one. Let's move on to question number two. If malonyl ACP is a three carbon acyl group, why are only two carbon atoms added each time malonyl ACP is combined with a fatty acid chain? So to answer this, in each cycle of fatty acid synthesis, a two carbon acetyl group from the three carbon group in malonyl ACP adds to the growing fatty acid chain, and one carbon forms carbon dioxide. This is why all three are not used in the formation of a fatty acid. In case you don't know, fatty acids are made in the cytosol of the cell, and they're carried out in four reactions. The conversion of malonyl ACP going to the new fatty acid being formed plus the release of carbon dioxide occurs in the fourth reaction of this cycle. And that reaction is shown on your screen. Let's move on to the third question. Match each with the description below. The first being mitochondria. As mentioned earlier, mitochondria is not the site of fatty acid synthesis. That's the cytosol. So we can cross out A. It is beta oxidation, which is the breakdown of a fatty acid that occurs in the mitochondria. So this part is B. Cytosol is the site of fatty acid synthesis, so that's A. Glucagon is a peptide hormone that is produced by the alpha cells of the pancreas. Its job is to convert glycogen, which is a polysaccharide compound found in the liver, into glucose. In addition to that, it's actually responsible for activating beta oxidation. The next one is insulin. Insulin is a hormone that's released from the pancreas when blood sugar levels rise. And it has many effects on the cell itself. It allows the cell to become more permeable to glucose and is also responsible for lipogenesis. Insulin stimulates lipogenesis primarily by activating other enzymatic pathways, which leads to fatty acid synthesis. 
So insulin is F and glucagon is E. Acetyl ACP is the starting material for lipogenesis. And so is malonyl ACP. We discussed this already. So I'll write down C and C. Malonyl ACP is also the compound added to elongate acyl ACP. So that is D. And there you have it. Three questions based on fatty acid synthesis.